Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of the collection framework. In this, let's explore something more in this collection interface. Now, now this collection interface provides you many more features. One of the features is you can use something called this iterator to iterate from the list or you can use size to, to get the size. Now, this all this uh, function which is stream for each, these are all these functions are introduced in Java 1.8, or which is the 88 version. We'll talk about this in the subsequent tutorial. And then you can convert your collection into array also. That means if you want an array from, uh, from the collection, you can use two array function. And that's it. Let's say I want to add an element after two, that means before five. Even if I say, let, let me just uh, come in this, remove this part. I want to add a element which is let's say three. And if I if I run this, the output will be it's one two five three. But what I want that this three should be added after two. That means I want to add this three after two. But unfortunately, in collection interface, we don't have any function to specify this to to specify the location or the index number. And that's why we have a new interface called as list. Now list offers you a feature where you can add an element to a specific location. Like example, if I say c.add now, I'm getting one more option which is int index. That means I can specify it should, it should come after two, which means this index number for this one is zero, for this two it's one, and the index number for this should be two, and the value we want to assign here is 3. That means it will come after 2 now. It's not because of this 2 is this 2. It's just the index number. Okay. Uh, let me run this now. Now you can see 3 comes after 2. So list offers you a feature of adding values to any location. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll add some random values to list. Now how to add random values? Let's say I have a collect. I have a, a list. A list of. I have a list. A reference of list. Let me add some random values. Now, how to add random values? We can use a, a class in Java, which is called random. We'll say r equal to new random. Okay, and we can use a for loop to add elements. We'll add let's say hundred elements. So we'll say int i equal to one and i less than equal to hundred and i plus plus. Okay, and to add these elements, we can simply say c dot add, and we'll say r dot next int. So, and in next int, we can specify the values should not be greater than let's say one thousand. So all the values will be less than one thousand now. So let's run this. And the output you are getting is all these values, and these are hundred values. So you can see we have all these hundred values which are less than thousand. Now, what we can do now is we can simply uh, we, can, we we are printing this all these values, right? But what if I want to I want hundred elements in a sorted order? That means now once I got all these elements, I have to use one more for loop, and then in that for loop I have to use either bubble sort or quick sort, some sort some sort some sort of sorting techniques, right? Instead of that. In collection framework, we have a class called as collections. Now, this collection class is very helpful if you want to do some extra task like sorting. So, this collection class has a method called as sort in which you have to pass an object. You can see we have to pass an object of list, and the object of list here is C. Okay, now if I run this code, you will see you're getting all the elements in a sorted order. So, we don't have to sort it, your, your Java. Or your this 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 method sort will sort all these elements. Now, what if instead of list, if I had a collection? If I had a collection, it will not work. Is because okay. It's because this sort method needs a list inter list reference, not collection reference. So it will not work, and that's the another difference of using uh, a list interface. So instead of collection, we can use list, which offers, which gives you this feature. 
okay so you can sort it also okay so now we have now we know how to use collection interface and how to use list interface we have seen one more thing called as random class two add elements and two print elements now further we'll talk about this in the subsequent tutorials thank you so much